Hello, I'm Louis. In this video, we will talk about Newton's method for finding a root. How to find the root of this equation? The left side of this equation is a function of x, which could be denoted by f(x). So our problem boils down to find a root of the equation f(x) equals zero. Draw the graph of the function y equals f(x) near its root in a coordinate system, like this. Now, if a value a is given as an estimate of the root, then for the tangent line at p, this line, its slope equals f prime a. When a point moves from q to p on the tangent line, its horizontal rung, q a equals rise over slope, which equals f a over f prime a. So, the x-intercept of the tangent line is a minus f a over f prime a. We see from the above that an estimate a of the root of the equation f(x) equals zero could be replaced by a better estimate a minus f a over f prime a, which is closer to the actual root. Here, this rule is called Newton's rule. Here. In our problem, f x equals x cubed minus x minus one, and f prime x equals three x square minus one. Notice that f one is negative, f two is positive. So there must be a root between one and two. Thus, one point five is a reasonable estimate of the root. Of the equation f x equals zero. By Newton's rule, the estimate 1.5 could be replaced by a beta estimate, this one, which equals 1.3478, and so on. And this new estimate could be replaced by a beta estimate, this one. Which equals 1.3252, and so on. And again, this new estimate could be replaced by a better estimate, this one, which equals 1.3247, and so on. Here, it could be expected that the leading digits 1.32, 1.32. Will never change in the future steps. So the number 1.32 could be taken as the root if the precision requirement is two decimal places. Clearly, we could repeat the above process to get the root up to any required precision. Okay, so much for this video. There will be new videos like this uploaded regularly in my channel, so please subscribe if you don't want to miss any of them. See you in the next video. Bye bye.